Hello everyone, how are y'all doing? Good, I hope. Welcome back to the In Her Power channel. So for today, I'm gonna be talking about something that I absolutely love talking about, which is crystals. Crystals. Wow. I love talking about crystals. I love everything related to crystals. I love crystals. And so this is gonna be a really fun video for me to film and share with all of you. This video specifically is talking about crystals that you can use for your root chakra. And if you remember from last week, we did the introduction and just some general information about the root chakra, what that energy center means, what uh, it can look like if it's off balance, imbalance, what it can look like or feel like if it's healthy. So if you have not seen that video, I encourage you to watch that video after this video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, like, comment, all the good things. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. I will say, before I get into the list of crystals, that all of the ones that I'm listing for you are crystals that I have in my collection. But you can use any crystal to help balance your energy, whatever you're drawn to, whatever you like, whatever your gut intuition is telling you to use, use that. You can use this information as kind of like a guidepost if you want to have some information, if you're new to this, but always follow your gut. If something's telling you to not use a certain crystal or to use something else, go with that. Always follow your intuition. So let me start with the first crystal up, which is bloodstone. The reason why I think that bloodstone is a good crystal for the root chakra is because if you remember from the previous video where we talked about the root chakra, Root is all about survival, safety, and security. And so if you're not feeling any of three of those things, then there can be a feeling sometimes of cloudiness, of fogginess. It's hard to make decisions. It's hard to make clear decisions and kind of see the bigger picture for yourself. And so bloodstone really helps to remove that fogginess, remove that confusion and bring more clarity and also keeping you grounded and looking at the bigger picture while being grounded and keeping yourself in check. Bloodstone is a powerful healer. It grounds heart energy. It also helps to remove any irritability, aggression, and impatience. It calms the mind. It releases and reduces any confusion that you may have. The next crystal on my list is tiger's eye. Tiger's eye can help boost your self-worth. It also alleviates depression. It can give you a lighter mood, help you feel more up, more just airy. And if you remember from the root chakra video, that's one of the symptoms of a blocked or imbalanced root chakra is if you feel very depressed, very weighty. So this will also help, the tiger eye will help to alleviate your mood. It's also good for decision making and clarity as well because once again, when you are not kind of having that foundation of uh, stability and security, then it can really be hard to make decisions. And so tiger's eye also helps to alleviate any mental confusion that you may have. It's also a really great stone for creativity and it helps to enhance your psychic abilities, which we all have. So get some tiger's eye if you wanna help tap into that uh, energy field. The next crystal, which is one of my favorite crystals, is smoky quartz. Smoky quartz is, to me, the best grounding crystal that you can have, aside from like a clear quartz crystal. And the reason why I like smoky quartz is because it can ground your energy and not make you feel weighted down. So it gives you that groundedness, it gives you that kind of sense of presence, but also keeping you connected 
to what's going on around you. So it doesn't feel like you're in a bubble. Smoky quartz also dissolves negative energies and helps to bring in more acceptance of your body, of your person, not just your physical body, but your body, your person, as in who you are. Um, and I know when I say body that people tend to think physical body, but we have an energy body, which I think a lot of times we are completely disconnected from, in addition to our physical body. Uh, many of us aren't connected with that energy body, that really true essence of who we are. And so Smoky Quartz helps us to connect with that part of ourselves, that energy body. Next up on my list, and this is the last one that I'm going to share with you, is hematite. Hematite is a pretty popular gemstone. I see a lot of people wearing it. It's a really great stone for grounding, and it also helps to protect. So it kind of creates this force field so that if you don't want any negative energy that's coming into you, coming into your aura, use hematite. So it grounds, it also protects and shields. Hematite also helps with concentration and focus, and it's a really great stone to help boost self-confidence and boost your willpower and, and really help you to be able to align more with your purpose, align more with who you really are, and connect with that in the present body, in the present moment. And now it's time for the Q and A. So one of the questions that I get asked when it comes to crystals is, where do I put them? Hmm, okay. So of course I'm gonna tell you that the best thing to do is follow your gut. But if you want something specific or some specific information about where to put your crystals, I would say that you can have them on your person, as in your physical body, um, and just kind of be aware of where you put them. Some of these stones like hematite and bloodstone, if you put them on your physical body, particularly around a place that has a bruise or maybe some inflammation, it may exacerbate that. So do some research before you place a stone physically on your body. Um, particularly if it's in a raw form, because some crystals, when they're in their raw form, uh, are not healthy to put on your uh, skin, directly in contact with your skin. So make sure you do some research before you put any crystals on you. But you can have them in a pouch, and you can have them in your pocket, in your purse, in a book bag, somewhere where you are going to have access to that energy all the time, uh, maybe in your wallet. I tuck some crystals sometimes in my bra. Anywhere that you want to put them that you feel like you'll be able to access that energy continually throughout the day and you know that they're there uh, so that you don't forget about them. That's what I would recommend in terms of where to place them physically on your body. When it comes to where to put them in your home, anywhere you want to. You can put crystals anywhere you want to. Um, see where, uh, when you put a crystal in a certain place, see if it feels right, if it feels comfortable. I have a whole tray back here full of crystals that are by my bedside table or my dresser, I should say. And so as the day starts and after I take a shower, I just kind of pick and choose what crystals I want for that particular day if I feel called or motivated to have a crystal for whatever reason for that day. So you can put them by your bed, you can have them on an altar, you can put them in your bathroom, you can have them on your balcony, wherever you want to put your crystals, uh, but just make sure you remember where you put them because uh, I have forgotten a lot of times where I put a crystal. Uh, and some crystals you can actually put in like different corners of your house or your wherever you live and it can create like a grid, like a protective grid network. We'll talk about that more so in some other crystal videos. But just always keep in mind that your crystals 
are living entities. And so kind of see what feels good and be open to the fact that where you put a crystal for one moment, it may change. You may decide that you want to put it somewhere else, but have a relationship with them. Really engage with your crystals. Don't just kind of have them there for decoration. They're there for a purpose. And so you want to use them for that purpose. So just kind of take some time to really feel into them, hold them and see what, uh, see what comes up and see where you want to place them. Well, folks, that is all for today's video. I thank you so much for watching. If you haven't watched the root chakra video, which was kind of the first part of this, then please make sure you go check that out. The link will be in the description below. If you have questions specifically about like the root chakra or maybe crystals in general, you can send me the questions through email. You can also put the question in the comment section and I will check that out. If you want your question to be put up here, on the YouTubes or you want your question on the podcast as a part of the I'm in here podcast because I also have a podcast that I work in conjunction with the YouTube channel uh, then you can submit the question and let me know that you want your question to either be on the video or on the podcast and the podcast information is in the description box as well and please if you are not a patron I encourage you to be a patron because all of this takes work it takes effort to put all of the videos and all the content together and if you really like the content if you really want to see more of it and you want to engage with the content in a much more in-depth way uh, please become a patron because I have some other things on there it's just for patrons. It's not for anybody else. So make sure you check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Sharing is caring. And I will see you on the next video where we will be talking about spiritual books. Some really good books to read to help you start your spiritual journey or to help you along your spiritual journey if you're already on it and you need some guidance, need a little help. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video. Love you so much. Bye.